Hey everybody, welcome back to one month in my bullet journal. I've had a really fantastic productive Sunday um, and I'm I'm ready to kick off a new week. So um, I decided to just like go all in and ruin my color scheme and everything in the, uh, the effort to be more productive and I think it's paid off. What I actually did today, um, I did use the space for this daily and instead of putting a to-do list, I decided that I was going to um, like use some color coding and a time tracking method to sort of keep myself accountable to um, getting stuff done. So basically what I did was everything that I had listed here on my daily and here that hadn't gotten done yet from my weekly to-do list, I went ahead and I used my mild liners to color code uh, based sort of on the kind of activity and where I was going to be. So like. This green task here was a physical like house cleaning activity. That was the only one. All these yellow ones are uh, productive things I needed to get done on my computer. The blue is things that I needed to get done in like a quiet time with like white noise and just focus. Um, both of them happen to be like spiritual things. Uh, the talk I'm doing for my confirmation class on Tuesday and the Bible study homework for Wednesday. I wanted to see if I could knock both of those out and I did and I'm super psyched about that. And then red is stuff for YouTube. So I wanted to get a little bit of work on some Sims videos for the future and then also obviously this is what I'm doing right now. It's the last thing that hasn't been crossed off yet. Um, with the exception of a gray thing here, sewing, which gray just means like if everything else is done, maybe you should finally get around to your sewing projects. Um, and if you see here, I actually have a little bit of time this evening that I'm going to be able, I'm going to do it guys, I'm going to finally start on these sewing projects. Um, so yeah, I just went ahead and I, you know, numbered, I put a little box for each hour of the day. We got back from church before two. So two through uh, the end of the nine o'clock hour, 10 PM, when I think that would be a good time to wrap up and get ready for bed. Um, the white spaces are things that I was doing other stuff. This big white space here was spent taking a nap, which was very nice. Um, and then I just did a little bit of, um, I, I did my stretching for the day. Just finished doing that before filming. So then um, I'm gonna just, I don't wanna forget what time I started right here. And I'll be filling up this box with the red depending on how long I'm working on my video stuff. Um, and I put, just for fun, I put a little quote here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but I showed my husband this video. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Um, search uh, little boy try to, gives encouragement to kids learning how to ride a bike or something like that. Search thumbs up for rock and roll and it'll probably come up. Or this quote, if you believe in yourself, you will know how to ride a bike. And it's just a very inspirational little boy uh, who learned how to ride a bike and is encouraging everyone else. And I just, I feel pumped. I feel like, yeah, I can do, I can do anything. <laughs> just the fact that I was able to, I mean, it was about an hour and a half here. This blue time was when I was working on my confirmation talk. And, um, like I, like I said, I've been putting it off all week. Um, you know, all these little arrows and I worked on it a little bit on, uh, Thursday, uh, but didn't get to it on Friday. We didn't have time was, you know, not really doing stuff on Saturday. Um, and so in the back of my mind, I was hoping that I would have time to work on it on Sunday, but, um, like I wasn't sure that I would be able to finish it or that I would have, you know, the, um, energy levels to concentrate on it, you know, but I did, I managed to just like, I had, I mean, I can't say it was a stroke of genius. It was the Holy spirit. You know, I'm, I'm going to take some advice. I'm going to remove this book to set up next week's. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I feel, I feel good about things. I feel like I can take on the world this week. So I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put this on the edge, some tape. I haven't used this particular washi tape in a while. So you're going to see my head here. It's just me. Hello. I haven't used this particular washi tape in 
a while, so I'm rewarding myself by using it. It's my favorite. I've mentioned that before. Uh, it's from um, Simply Gilded on Etsy. And I am a fan of astronomy, and I just think this is gorgeous, and I really enjoy using it. So I'm going to try something different for my layout this week, uh, for my weekly. Because I've been using this, you know, grid weekly for a few weeks now, since mid-March. And it's been working really well, but I feel like I want to try to go back to, like, dailies, like, dailies, dailies, instead of just evening dailies, like I've been doing for the last two weeks. Um, and I also, like, I need to have a place for a weekly task list. Um, a little bit of space for, like, a weekly tracker. But there's really no reason that I need to have my events listed on my weekly because they're listed on my monthly calendar. So I just have to remember to look at them every day. And so we're going to give that a shot. I'm just trimming the wash around the edges of my pages here. All right. So there's the edge. And my thought is I'm going to have to-dos on this side, projects, meal planning, and tracking on this side. And I want to make sure that I have enough room for that. But first, let's go ahead and put the dates along the top here because I'm going to stick with my Alistair Weeks here um, because I it it's nice to be able to set aside, like, I'm going to do this on that day. Um, and if you don't have, like, these kind of boxes, do that uh, it's tricky to do that so uh, we're on the ninth tomorrow Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. right Friday the 13th and if I Tape on the bottom. That will give us. Ooh, that's tight. All right. Just kind of measuring how much space I have. Carefully. Carefully. There we go. All right. So for my tracker. Kit count, yes, don't need Novena. Video, vitamins, iron supplement, stretch, and wash face. Because I've decided I'm not gonna have lotion on my tracker this week because when I don't do it, it's usually because I don't feel like I need to and that's fine. All right, this is a very skinny little strip of washi tape, I want to say this is from Michaels. Okay, good. That fits within one square. Just one measure. Um, then I want to have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the meal tracker, and then we'll have room for one, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, five, six, seven projects. Um, I think I think that will work. I think that will work. All right, you might see my head again. Yep, you're gonna see my head again. Hello. There we go. And then along the bottom. Kind of use your nail to press it into the corner there. Very right, bottom. Go. These strips. It's a slightly different shade of navy blue, and it's straight silver instead of like this is kind of a little bit holographic. 
but it is pretty close to the same. So close enough to matching. There's definitely not room to put multiple strips of the same thick washi. So it's using some of this for a nice little divider. guys had a really good weekend and you're ready for the next one. I know Mondays can be hard. I feel like having a really nice like weekly setup that you feel good about can kind of help with that case of the Mondays, you know? I don't know, maybe it's just me. But knowing, really knowing what I have to do makes it feel more manageable. Just having a to-do list is like a big chunk of the, uh, the work, like the mental work. Is it super stressful if I know I have a lot of stuff to do but I don't know how much or specifically what? Let me see if I have... Yeah, I don't think I do. have my uh, pocket knife handy. When I do, that's better for this having something to sort of cut the edges with or to cut the, the inner edge with just along the spine normal pair of scissors does work there we go I'm gonna just peel off the bit on the other page We've got some nice, relatively clean lines. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I'm going to mark. I think if I should sort of stagger these at all. Erase these dots. Let's go ahead and start with the tracker grid using our little micron and an Ulta Rewards card. this week I feel like it's the calm before the storm um, we started April with entirely free weekends which was really nice um, with the exception of the 28th is my sister's wedding so that's going to be crazy busy um, and exciting uh, until then though things are relatively calm mm. so I feel though like I need to spend this time like getting ready for the crazy also because we don't have any free weekends in May already um, part of that May is super busy because that's when we're taking all of our different um, childbirth classes and things. We've taken a car seat class so far, but everything else is going to be in May. 
including like a five week evening course. So it's just gonna start getting really crazy. So the more I can get done in April, the less crazy I will be in May and the less I will have to rely on my energy level staying up in June because the baby's due in July. So that's where I am. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's... How many did that need? One, two, three, four, five. I'll give it six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick. Count. Still been going good. Consistently, you know, quick and easy. These are listed separately because I need to take them at different times. I take my vitamins at breakfast and then the iron supplement like at lunch or in the afternoon. Uh, stretch and wash face. Here we go. There we go. That's a habit I'm trying. I've been trying for years to get into the habit of all right, so we're gonna kind of stagger it. I don't know if that'll look good, but we'll give it a shot. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So this will be for meal planning. I'll go ahead and put just a dot here in each one and I'll, you know, basically treat each one as a task. And when we've had that meal across it off, um, that doesn't really matter. That's just what I'm doing. And then finally, over on this side, I'm just gonna put a couple dots. This side is for projects. So there's a couple things from this week that I haven't done yet. Catalog baby stuff. Basically, I'm just gonna put nursery. Um, and that involves things like moving stuff out of the nursery into the guest room so that we're going to be painting the nursery next weekend. Um, let's see. Also, yes, garden. That involves doing like research stuff and then I'm not going to be doing a lot of the heavy grunt work. That's my husband, fortunately, but uh, that's still something that needs to be worked on. Then, yep, I'll put sewing because there's a lot of sewing projects to work on. And though I'm going to work on some tonight, I'm not going to finish. And then, oh, what am I doing? I'm flipping to the front of this insert like it's going to be helpful. Um, there's some stuff here. This is my monthly uh, for April. So I know that I need to. Party and planning bath. So I need to work on that. And then here we go. All right. That's my uh, projects for now. I'll leave that there. Leftovers. We always have leftovers on Tuesdays. We have to decide if we're gonna have enough leftovers to eat more leftovers on Monday and then. on Thursday or if I need to cook something on Monday. All right. So as far as actual to do's, these are things that I will cross off once and then be done with. Whereas like here, it was no, sorry, here. Everything was listed in the same place and I would put multiple dots like this one here. Oh yeah. I'll put interim check in on here too. Cause that's still not done. Check. 
in. Okay. There's room for two rows of projects here, actually, it looks like. So these are one-time tasks. Sign up for one of the classes we need to take in May. And looks like that's, that's it. Um, is that? You know, I was wrong, we're painting the nursery on the 21st. So I actually have more time there, that's fine. Um, but that's fine. All right, I need to buy beige shoes for the wedding. All right, and then as far as like making lists of things to do, let's look at our list of lists. So we've got stuff from the monthly calendar. Yep. So, what time next weekend to dust the PC? Yeah, I'm gonna add that here too. That's also from the monthly task list. Dust my computer. You can do that after work because there's sunlight after work now. You just want to do that out in the patio, you know, instead of getting dust inside. Charles list, uh, ignoring that. Okay. MH checklist. Need to make. Need to text. No, not text. PM. Never you mind what about. Um, I need to, where is it? The common room. And I need to grade homework. Cool. Next, baby insert. That's also my reminder to check here. We're gonna be entering the third trimester as of like when you're seeing this. So that's crazy, goodness. Um, cravings, I don't know, sweet, sort of. And I got my first heartburn. I've had acid reflux for a couple weeks. This is my first heartburn yesterday. No, Friday, it wasn't great. Let's see. Then there's a list of things to do. Birthday of parents. Nutrition breakfast. Okay. That's actually going to be in May. After we go on the hospital tour. This it's later and we'll see. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to add any of that to my list. YouTube schedule someday maybe. Alright. It's maybe yeah, my project list. I can pretty well ignore that. The waiting on um I actually put something here. So there's a waiting on thing that like I actually thought, you know what, I'm gonna use this list. So I'm going to actually go ahead and open up my web browser and check to see, it's all off camera, checking to see if uh, the thing I'm waiting on has been done. And it has, all right, perfect. So I will, I'll cross this off because I'm not waiting on it anymore. And then I will put, um, I'll put it on my list here. The thing that I have to do in response, like that. All right, so that's good. And then we'll just look over our project lists here. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll put. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Trying to think if I have time. This is week six. If I need to work on this project, it's for 
here. We'll do that next week. Plan. Sorry, I know this is probably super boring. And looks good. All right, that's all of my the, the lists on my list, which means that like, I basically I like having that spread, that collection, um, because it reminds me of all the places that I keep tasks that might not be on my task list already. Um, because, you know, there's things in holding, basically, in these project pages that, you know, I haven't started working on yet. And I just need a reminder of all the places those could be. And I just collect stuff every week and go ahead and add it to my list if I need to. So this list will be filled up as the week goes on. And I will cross it off in the column as it gets done. Um, I will probably move, like, not move, but like write these tasks on a daily um in fact i can do that there's no reason i can't do my daily right now i should get that set up um ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. thoughts i don't want to do that what if i go rummaging around and find this there it is I have a stencil with some little header thingies on it. So let's give this a shot. Shall we? I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy. This little header guy. So we draw a banner. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use the, uh, the technique of taping down my stencil with washi tape. Just a little bit. So that it doesn't budge too badly. Sorry, I'm paying attention instead of talking. I'm not the best at stencils. I don't use this one very often. Uh, honestly, I got it because I thought that I was gonna use these more often, these little um, to-do list boxes. But they it was advertised as a field note size, fits field notes grids. Well, it's a pocket size, but it fits a 0.5 centimeter grid. And the field notes grid is actually a little bit smaller than that. So it doesn't actually fit these boxes correctly. And so I don't use it in here, but I can store it in here for this week if I want to use it for my headers. Using this as a straight edge, so I can finish up these little banner guys. There we go. And then just from here to here. I'm not sure if it's easier to do it this way than to just use the grid, but you know. I've got it, so I'm gonna use it. I'm just leaving this piece of washi tape on there because why not? And I don't have a pocket in here of any kind, really. I'm trying to think where I can tuck it, like in the very back. There we go. I'll just leave it there. Okay. And let's use a different color blue. Or wait, no. So as not to double up, I'm gonna use this blue that's already 
in my pen case that I'm using on my monthly. All right, and it's going to say Monday. And then do I put, I don't even know. And see, I don't do decorative headers ever, ever, ever. What if we did that? The middle point. terrible. I'm already regretting this. Eh. Alright. Here we go. It's uh, the ninth. Alright. Zero nine. I'm going to put, I'm, I'm guessing on the starting point of this one. Monday. There we go. Nine. There we go, guys, it's a header. <sighs> See why I keep things simple? Because it stresses me out too much to have to do it any other way. Alright, so yeah, every day I'm going to take things from this to-do list and this and all this and move it over. So tomorrow I'm going to... Yeah. Alright. Sign up for class. I would like to look for shoes tomorrow if I can. Uh, I can do this tomorrow. I can do a lot of these things tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be adding more stuff to the... I, haven't, I don't have to assign anything yet. Alright. Move these all things over, but I'll do that off camera. I've bored you enough already. Um, Thank you guys for watching uh, this longer, man, really long video. Um, <laughs> I did not expect it to go that long. Thank you guys. Um, I will come back to you tomorrow, uh, show you how all that went for Monday and set up for Tuesday, which will be much shorter because I don't have to set up my week. Okay, have a good one. Bye.